making uh, a dessert. I am making uh, like ice cream, ice lollies, um, so that you can take it for a barbecue or if you have people with diabetes in your party, they know exactly the carb content of each uh, little ice cream. So this is extremely easy to do. Uh, you will see all you need is these. I am first going to make these and uh, so for this I've got three of these and I've bought these kind of skewers and uh, what I'm doing is I am actually cutting them uh, to, to this size so they're about three four centimeters and uh, it will be very, very easy to put them in here so they make individual uh, little, little ice creams. Um, maybe you have a better idea. Honestly, the truth is I had none. I wasn't sure maybe to put some spoons in it or something, but then in the freezer, it will be quite uh, complicated because you need something quite high. So this is the best I could come up with. Uh, if you have any other suggestions, please let me know. And let me show you, it will take you five minutes and it's really yummy. I've discovered uh, this brand, Alpro, I don't know if you can find it in your country, but basically this is uh, yogurt. I've got also this one in coconut, Alpro coconut, that has coconut milk and coconut cream in it, so it's not going to count at all very much for carbohydrates. Uh, the other two I've got are uh, with soya, they've made with uh, soya, so um, these are good, I quite, I quite like them. So let me show you, basically you're taking these. Remember that your three yogurts won't have the same carb content, so one yogurt per tray. This first you want to mix it very well so that it's easier to pour into your ice cube tray. Shake it so that then all of the air bubbles have gone and then you add your wooden sticks. Repeat for the other two and then put in the freezer for at least an hour. Now I have made uh, these three that I think are really nice. Uh, it, once you get them out of the freezer, you have to wait maybe another 10, 15 minutes so that it starts to kind of be a little bit softer, otherwise it gets really hard and it's not particularly, not very nice. Because remember, this is not a, a real kind of ice cream. Now for the other part of the recipe, the other ice cream I'm going to show you, you need to have some watermelon and you need some uh, white melon. I am using here white melon, but you can use any other type of melon like cantaloupe or, or something else. Um, you get rid of the skin and you cut them in. You can use like big squares to cut them and get them ready to go into the freezer. Then uh, I am also cutting some watermelon, so get the skin out again and cut them in uh, big squares. It does not matter really the size you want to leave them in the freezer and you want them to be completely frozen so maybe at least two hours inside your weezer thermomix for me wheeze it for a few seconds until you see that the paste is forming like this and then it's ready to serve I am adding here some mint to look nice. You want to do the same with your melon. This looks really yummy and then it is also healthy. Mm -hmm. 